Jesus is, Lord. This is uh, Coach in a Fight. Coming to you on a non Sabbath day show. Calendar says 0412 015. We're looking here to uh, start a, I don't know if they call them blogs or vlogs or I don't even know if they, this is, fits in the category of what we are attempting to do. What we are attempting to do is to take a look at the law, and I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm not going to say that we're looking to decide if we should follow the law or not, you might have missed that episode, um, or do we need to do that episode, let's, let's go ahead and do, do that episode. We didn't do it. It wasn't audio. it wasn't video, it was audio. Alright. So let's go to the New Testament. It's the first of all. Let's say it is five hundred hits, so we don't get them all. Start in the back though. Imagine that the New Testament has a lot to say about the law. Whosoever committed sin transgresses the law, for sin is a transgression of the law. So there's a definition of the law. I have to thank my wife for that one because she pointed that one out too. And it makes perfect sense. Sin is transgression of the law. Okay. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and destroy who art thou that judges another. Alright, so there's one lawgiver, and that one lawgiver is the Lord. One lawgiver is God Himself. Jesus, Yahweh, Jehovah, Yahshua, the created. Human race. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judges his brother speaketh evil of the law and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. That one may have come, may need to come back to that one. Not going on in that verse. So speak ye and do so as they shall be judged by the law of liberty. So what's the law of liberty? I think I know. But I don't get paid to think. Is there another time we talk about the law of liberty? It's two times. But whosoever, oh, it's in the same, same book. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Alright, so the law, law of liberty. Basically, saying we're supposed to do it. This is James chapter 1. So, you say, well, what's the argument? You know, some of us are looking at this and we're like, there's no need to discuss it. Why are we discussing whether or not we should be following the law? But I'm afraid to say you are my, <clears throat> the minority, my friend. The most, <laughs> the rest of us, we're like, uh, uh, should we be doing it at all? According to what we're reading so far, shit. We're looking at all of the times when the law is written. 
this is kind of where this started from. We were asked the question, should we be following the law? Before we said no, we said, well, let's go look and see what the word says. And we've been studying the law ever since. Uh, for he that said, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now, if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. Alright, so we gotta get in and find a digital Bible. Um, we got audios, and of course, we got hard covers, but in the Bible, man. Alright, still looking at the law. How far are we only go before we say, you know, we're convinced we need to look, we need to be following the law. But whosoever look into the perfect law of liberty, continuous therein, he be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the works this man shall be blessed in his deeds. He that despises Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Yeah. So what that was saying was when they um if two or three people saw you do something, saw you transgress the law, yeah they stoned you. You be out there mowing your grass on the Sabbath day. Two people see you and report you to the priest, and next thing you know, the whole community, you know, comes out and throws rocks at you till you die. This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds while I write them. Okay, now this is a very, very important first year. And I say important, I only judge that because so many people talk about it and use it in conversations about the law. The law being written on our hearts. The laws being written on our hearts. Let's look up a question the other day. How many laws does man have? Does it matter how many laws there are? Let's see how many. How many? If you look just in tax law, <laughs> they ain't saying. Imagine how many man's laws there are. <laughs> but then we think, well, according to some dude that went and looked up the law, there's 300, I mean 613 different laws uh, in the Bible. I bet man has more than 600 laws just in taxes alone. Not to mention other stuff. How I many laws that govern food? How I many laws that govern transportation? How I many laws govern uh, even your right to look at this video? I'm creating laws about that every day. And watch it now, that's all I can say. Alright, so what we're doing is we're looking at times that the law where law is written there's 629 hits let me blow this up maybe you guys are having a hard time seeing it I'll go up to at least 150% alright so there's uh, 529 hits and we started at the back you see them over here on the right there's one in 1st John 8 in James Hebrews Titus We'll come all the way back and see what Jesus said about the law. Yeah. Yeah, of course, that's the end. Let's just go to Matthew and see what Matthew has to say about the law. You say, well, why would we go to Matthew? Well, you know, it's all about the gospel. It's all about the gospel. And where does the gospel start? The law of truth was in his mouth, and inequity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity, and did turn away from inequity. Oh, that's Malachi. I don't know say that. I don't sound like Matthew, but... You know. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. 
weakness. See, that's what we gotta understand that he didn't take the law away. I'm talking about, you know, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did not take the law away. He, he didn't come to change anything. He didn't change. God didn't make a mistake and say, oh, you know, uh, I don't like the way this is working, so I'm just gonna change, you know. No, that's not true. It was all part of the plan. saying you want to say well what plan go to google put in god's prophetic i am i can't do it right here anyway i'd have to show you a picture oh well maybe we'll do it here i don't want to get into showing no images i don't want to show no pictures man. things have angels on them and all kinds of stuff but go ahead and look for god's prophetic plan i'll show you what it looks like on mine I go in images. This is it. See this long one right here. That's going to be one. See, I don't, I don't see, it. and I don't want to turn them on because I don't want to get in trouble. But look at the pictures. You see the timeline of where we're where we're at, and on that timeline, you. Well, I say you will see the timeline. Knowing where we're at may take a little more than just a look. But anyway, that's the plan we're talking about. His plan was that Jesus would come and fulfill the law. <coughs> and you said, well, how does that, how does that, what does that mean? What does it mean to fulfill the law? That's awesome. You know? Well, you think that one of the main things that Jesus did was he died on the cross. Dying on the cross was the blood. He gave us the blood we need. Before that, we had to have goats. There's no forgiveness of sin without blood. They use goats and they use sheep. There's no forgiveness of sin without blood. They had to have blood in order to get forgiven of sin. And that was then, and that is now, and it will be forevermore. Period. That's why he tells you don't drink the blood, don't you know, eat the blood. He said when you kill an animal, you pour the blood out like water. If you're deer hunting and you shoot an animal, you go and you cover that dirt, that blood up with dirt. Sand. Cover it up. Blood is important. Blood is life. They have respect for blood at all times. You know, nef definitely don't eat it. I mean, definitely don't eat it. Definitely don't drink it. Definitely don't drink it. If you ran a crowd that want to drink some blood, might be around the wrong crowd. <laughs> you might need to find you some more friends. <laughs> okay, let's look at the next one. For verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all is fulfilled. Now, see, one jot or one tittle. Well, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't first class. This ain't preschool. If I gotta convince you that we should be following these instructions, you might be in the wrong class. You might need to go sit in on the one of the beginner classes. Um, because this one ain't, this one ain't. That's what it, this this class is about. What we're praying for is that this turns into a series that we can then use uh, to build a barn to help. Not only my kids, but maybe my nephews and my nieces and, you know, maybe friends, you know, I got, you know, a lot of friends that, you know, I love a lot, you know, and I love them, love to see them, you know, on that other side with me, not burnt up in the fire, you know, so, if we can get something out of it, that's what we pray for, there's something to come out of it, thought about writing a book, but frankly, I don't know if we have enough time to, to for a book, you know, we got writing, editing, getting to some do this, get somebody to publish it, you know, all that takes time. Hit the shelf, get printed, hit the shelf, sold, bookstores, people buying it, reading it. You know, that's years. You know? <laughs> I don't think we got that long. The planet may be around that long, but we need to know some, we need to know we need to know about this law now. You know, it's time to stop playing. We need to know about it now. 
right now. You know what? We need another verse. Let's jump on right here. 10. What does 10 say? For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and that the daughter against her mother, and daughter in law against the mother in law. For all prophets and the law prophesied unto John. But when the Pharisees saw it, and said unto him, Behold, our disciples do that which is not lawful to do up on the Sabbath day. Okay, go and read the next one, but. Okay. So it was all about the law. The law is very important. It's basically instructions for how to live. If you want to know about what, how to get instructions for how to live, you just want the short version. Read the book of Leviticus. Read the book of Leviticus. Understand the book of Leviticus. Let me take that word read out because you read it a lot. Most folk won't make it past the first chapter. You don't believe me? If you've never, you don't, if you've never read it, don't believe it. Pick it up, read it. Matter of fact, let's take a look at it. Let's take a listen to it. Who is just listening to it and closed it down? We're gonna listen to that. Let me just tell you, show you what I mean by you won't get past the first chapter. But you have to get past the first chapter. The way the Lord wrote the Bible, man wrote it. Yeah, I know, but you know, he inspired it in every word. Man can't really, I, I don't believe man could have, was capable of, of doing that because the, Moses didn't understand what he was writing. No idea. He was just writing what he was told. I mean, he understood a lot more than we do. Don't get me wrong. He didn't understand. He didn't understand why he was sacrificing. He, 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 he was doing it because he was told. He didn't understand what the sacrifice meant. He was doing it because he was doing it because he was told. You know? And that's what it means, you know, when it says still under the law. They were under the law. They were just doing it because they were told. Didn't make sense. Didn't nothing, you know, fit together. The puzzle was like, you know, I don't know why we're doing it because we say so. You know, and then it turned into why we're doing it because if you don't, you're going to kill you're going to get killed. If you don't do it, I'm going to hit you with this rock. <laughs> Similar to that. Why, why do I have to rest today? I got stuff to do. Well, if you go outside and work, I'm going to go get somebody. And we're going to come and we're going to throw rocks at you until you die. That's why. So that's under the law. So now you can think of us as being over the law. You know? We don't die for that kind of stuff. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as to say we're over the law though. Let's just click this one and see what it is. Leviticus. The third book of Moses called Leviticus. Chapter 1. And the Lord called unto Moses, and spake unto him out of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, If any man of you bring an offering unto the Lord, ye shall bring your offering of the cattle, even of the herd. See what I mean? So, he tell you from jump, he about to get into cattle and herds, and he do. And frankly, I can't say I understand a lot of it. I mean, I understand. I mean, I can't say I understand all of it. I do understand a lot of it, not all of it. <laughs> but that's why we have a high priest to get those things right for us. That's not the thing Jesus did. That's what he means by fulfilling the law. We ain't gotta do all of that stuff. Let me take that back. Oh, let me not speak too quick. You know, I am. Can we edit that out? I don't mean to say that. I don't know if it's true or not, and therefore I'm not going to state it. We don't need to do it. I know one thing, we ain't been doing it, and we ain't died. I do know that. I do know that, alright. So, there's a lot of people who look up and study the law. If you go and sit, put in Mosaic Laws, or better yet, Law 613. Or laws, law six thirteen. All right, so this one right here. Yeah, so this is a good one right here. Let's blow it up so you can see some of this. Talking about the law here. This is uh, jufact.org six thirteen HTML. Oh no, HTML. Alright, so let's go out to 150%. Alright, looking here. 
Here you have ten laws all associated with the Lord. You got laws dealing with the Torah or uh, the, the, the law books, which is, of course, they call it the first five books of the Bible. They may be talking about, you know, even further. Joshua. Signs and symbols, prayers and blessings, love and brotherhood. These are all laws. The unfortunate, poor and unfortunate. Testament of the Gentiles. They say, well, what's a law associated with the testament of the Gentiles? They say, well, to love the stranger. That's what he says, number 53. So if you go to Deuteronomy 10 and 19, which you plan to do, that's what, that's what we're hoping this series will turn out to be. So we're going to go in and we're going to look at... So he come in and said, Love ye therefore the stranger, for ye were strangers to the land of Egypt. And see, they're calling that a law. He said that's 613. Now, I've gone through these and skimmed them. I can see where I get a lot of them, but look at this. Forbidden sexual relations. Look at all the laws on sexual relations. You know, so that was that was what twenty of them right there. Times and seasons. And again, what we what we want to do is go through each one, each and every one of these. Take the time. Go through each one of them. Look up first. But then I have to wonder. Are we really supposed to do that? Because if you look, there's a lot of Leviticus here, but look, there's Deuteronomy. You know? There's a lot of Genesis in here. There's a lot of Exodus in laws in here. Laws written from Exodus. It, it should be all Leviticus. The way I understand it, it should be all Leviticus. The way I understand it, you shouldn't be looking for laws nowhere else but Leviticus, and maybe until you get to the old or to the New Testament. When Jesus, you know, added a, added a couple. Right? I said, well, what couple did he add? Of course he added. Love the neighbor as herself and love God. But that's what this uh, this is going to be about. This is just a pilot show just to get it started. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Lord. Thank you for all that you're doing for us, Lord. We ask that you will help us to continue to understand your law so that we can become you know, lawful citizens. Not only in man's law, but in your law particularly. Um, we ask that you will uh, bless those that um, had an opportunity to listen to the show. you to continue to watch over us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.